A Pennsylvania facility fined $62,000 for coronavirus response, and despite the lack of complaints, CMS warns providers not to take resident stimulus checks. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A Pennsylvania nursing home is facing at least a $62,000 fine from the federal government for infection control deficiencies at the facility during the coronavirus pandemic. The federal investigation happened in mid-May at the Brighton Rehabilitation and Wellness Center, a 589-bed facility in Beaver, Pennsylvania, following concerns about its COVID-19 outbreak. About 80 residents there died from the disease as of June 10th. Despite widespread criticism and national attention to its past challenges, Brighton management said the facility was, quote, closely adhered to the strict guidelines and recommendations set forth by health officials throughout the pandemic. Deficiencies that were found during the investigation included PPE not being worn properly by staff members, medical equipment not being cleaned correctly, and problems concerning the frequency of medical record documentation, according to CMS. Since 2017, the nursing home has been assessed more than $63,000 in fines by the federal government, according to the report. It has so far been fined $62,580, and that can increase once the investigation is finalized. Nursing home providers that seize stimulus checks from residents could be removed from participating in the Medicare and Medicaid programs, the Trump administration warned last week. CMS issued the notice Thursday in an effort to prevent long-term care facilities from taking coronavirus relief payments from residents. Earlier this week, lawmakers called on the agency to issue guidance to deter the practice. Quote, while CMS has not received any specific complaints regarding this practice, we believe it is important for residents and families to know their rights and for nursing homes to understand the liability associated with this practice, CMS stated. The agency explained that the practice violates several federal regulations regarding abuse, neglect, and exploitation. It added that it could be considered misappropriation of resident programs or violate resident rights to manage their own financial affairs. Quote, residents or their family who were compelled to sign their stimulus check over to their nursing home are encouraged to file a complaint with their state survey agency for investigation of the nursing home, CMS added. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.